Hey friendos, my name is Nez and welcome back to Genshin Impact! Last episode we got Venti's Lyre back, but it got broken by an Abyssal Mage and now Storm Terror wants to kill us all. So, are we finally planning to kill Storm Terror? The Abyss Order. Enemies of the human race. Even the underground networks rarely come across any information on them. With that said, it was a bit of a hassle, but I managed to dig up a few clues. Really? That quickly? You really are well connected, Master G. Luke. Come to think of it, Mr. Big Animal God Barbatos, why exactly do you need the help of mere humans? That is a good question. Also, Paimon, are you really a human? Uh, how do I put it? The Seven, as people now know them, were once known as the Seven Archons. Each Archon presides over their own part of Tavat. That is the role the Archons play. Only in performing this duty can we attain power. But I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really like it either. Go forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. We have not forgotten Barbados' wish for Mondstadt. Jean, you're such a devotee. She's a simp for her god. Maybe someone got a little too free and is just too lazy to care. Uh, however it may have come to be, I haven't been back to Mondstadt for an extended period of time. Without a doubt, I am now the weakest Archon among the Seven. And yet you sound almost proud. Aw, you flatter me. Oh, such a humble god. Is it a blessing or a curse? <laughs> but we digress. Let's get back to the topic at hand. The common enemy of all mankind. The Abyssal Mages. We have tracked the Abyss Mage to the vicinity of the winery. I cannot stress enough how important it is to not let it escape. So we have to hunt it down, got it. Where do we need to go? Prologue Act 3, Song of Dragon and Freedom. Okay, defeat the assailants. Where do we need to go? Way over there, we'll just teleport. Hello, hello, Abyssal Mages. Ah, there they are. Hmm, ah, they see us. Hello, ah, we're frozen. Just gonna knock you guys out because you guys can wet us and freeze us. Where'd he go? Huh? What's this? After the Abyss Mage was defeated, a certain energy dispersed from its body. It seems that energy was being used to cut off the connection between me and Duvali. Huh. Do you know of Storm Terror's life? Nope, but I think I've heard people talking about it. Of course. I believe the people of Mondstadt all know of it. After Duvalin woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. As it was with the storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world, the entrance to the ruins is also sealed by a special barrier. I've seen that barrier. I can't go through that barrier. Can we finally lift the barrier? But now, as the energy dispersed from the Abyss Mage, I was able to read the rhythmic flow of how the barrier's magic was woven. <laughs> I must admit, it sounds even more horrendous than a chorus of hilly churls, but... It should be enough to let us break through the storm barrier and reach Storm Terror's lair. Which means we're going to confront Duvalin? And then fight him and then maybe kill him? I'm fine with that. Jean is the one who wishes to avoid any direct confrontation. Okay then, maybe we're gonna be at odds with each other? No. When there are no other options left, it is my responsibility to alter our course of action. Great, so we're killing the dragon. If slaying him is our only choice, I will gladly become the knight that leads the charge. Fortunately, we have yet to need to go that far. Hmm. Wait, what do you mean? By that, you mean... I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. Wasn't it our trump card? Our real trump card? The Traveler, of course. Wait, us? The Traveler? Why? Is it because we purified the teardrop? Correct. Really? But you have a much more precious forte. The impurities in the tears and the curse that binds Devalin belong to the same Maleficent power. So you're saying we could purify him? Which means... You tone-deaf bard, don't you see how crazy this is? You've seen what Devon is like when he's ticked off? She'll be swallowed whole before she even gets to lift a finger! Uh, yeah, technically correct. Weren't we just talking about how we can fight? Hey, nice plan. Worth a shot. I am with you, honorary knight. Oh, so we just need to fight monsters from the abyss and a dragon. No pressure or anything. Technically, we're the ones fighting. You're just floating around. Humans aren't without their strengths. Let's go. And so.
So, epic actions of brave heroes finally leads to this 11th hour. Why are you still narrating? Okay, we need to head forward through the abyss. Hurdle, go to the entrance of Storm Terra's lair. All the way through here. Checking the map we need to travel along this pathway. Okay. And it looks like... Oh my god, they're chasing after us. No thank you, we're just on our way to the lair. Please leave us alone. There are a bunch of hilly turtles out here. They are on patrol. We could just hastily run past them. Hi, guys. Yeah. Bye, guys. We don't need to fight you guys right now. We just need to get to the lair. A bunch of fire flowers. Yep. We should be nearing by. I see the barrier. There it is. I did some exploring and I can't really pass that barrier. So I was assuming, yeah, maybe we'll use a main quest to get through. And it do be so. Hello. Storm Terror's lair. Here we are. Now how do we get through? Hmm. The big barrier seems to be up. How do we get through? I see some frosty boys. Please stop pulling aggro! We don't want to fight right now. There is something shining way over there. I'm guessing that's where we need to be to lift this fucking barrier. Okay, we're all go Oh my god, why? Why are you like this? Why are you like this, Hilly Charles? Come on. Okay, here we go. It's a storm barrier. It looks so dangerous. <laughs> they just ran away after seeing all of us. Leave it to me. Although this wooden liar is all I have. I don't need the liar to break through this kind of storm barrier. Uh, uh, wait, what is that? What is what? Oh, it's a big boy. Attack. Prepare yourselves. Wait, what? We can fight all together? No, it's just us, apparently. It's always been just us. Your wooden shield is kind of annoying. Come over here, big boy. Come over here. Let us just burn your shield away. Whoa! There we go. Is that it? Is that all of you? Do we need to take care of you two too? Hello guys! Ready to fight? Nice you. Trolls usually do not venture into areas with high elemental concentrations. It puts a heavy burden on their bodies. So why are they here? The Abyss Order must be manipulating them behind the scenes, yet they shouldn't have been able to determine that we would come. They're presumably spreading their forces to halt our plans. Without further ado, I suppose I can play faster if my only audience is the wind. Yes, please. We need to get in fast. Come on. Another song? I thought it was broken. What the fuck? We're finally in. It actually opened. You're not entirely useless, Tone Deaf Bard. Now we only need to find a use for you, Pyman. This is it. We are now entering Storm Terror's lair. Watch yourselves. Let's move. So, uh, we still doing all the fighting on our own. We are? Come on, dudes! Anyway, we're finally in Storm Terror's lair. Ooh, fancy! I mean, scary. Very scary. Well, where do we need to go? All the way through there? The big flashy thing? Is that where Storm Terror lives? Let's just activate the waypoint. Storm Terror, we've come to Pokey in the butt. Looks like this is the front gate to Storm Terror's lair. That it is. The gate is enormous compared to us. But still, Paimon wonders how Devalin gets in there with a body that huge. <laughs> Maybe he, he turns in. smaller? He flies in. Oh. Hmm, you do have a point. Yes, he does have wings. How do we get inside? There's another barrier. It's stuck. It's stuck. 
Well, you two shut up. Hey, check out that roof. Is there a giant hole in it? Giant hole? We need to fly. Hmm. I suppose we could make use of that wind current. Let's make a detour then. Heading up. Let's make a detour then. Heading up. Oh no, they're copying each other. Now, which wind current do we have to go to? Hmm. Do you Racing. think there will be Abyss Mages hiding in the ruins? Probably. Most likely. If we do run into one, we will let the victorious Master Diluc do the... Simp! Do not underestimate them just because I have beaten one of them before. I'm not boasting. I'm simply saying there is more to the Abyss Order than a few mages. Correct. <laughs> That's why I tagged along, after all. Well, that, and also for your safety. Okay, uh, this must be the wind current. So and then we need to fly, to what, over there? Poet, in fact. So says the person that made zero effort to search for the dragon tears and drink in the tavern all day. Find a way to fly into the barrier. Remotely diligent. Do we need to go this way? Right. I think there might be another way through here. Uh, a bunch of hilly churls. Need to set shit on fire. Oh my god, stop. So, how do we get in? Through here? We need to fly up. Ah, there's a pathway through. And there's a teleporting shrine. Guess we just make our way through here. Wait, what's that? I hear something. I hear the winds whispering our death! Or something like that. And we got a teleporting shrine right here. Look, a wind current! A wind current! We can see that! Storm Terror's lair unlocked! Okay. Now, we need to fly all the way up. And then, where do we go? In here? Do we pass through? We're finally inside! Pog! How do we open this chest? Just like that. Okay, we just need to climb all the way to the top of the tower, face Storm Tear, and then maybe not try to kill him. Or kill him. Whichever works. Hello, Devalin. Ah, great. Golem. Please don't wake up. Okay, bye. He didn't wake up. Yep, still asleep. Just recharging. And we fly! I'm guessing this is where we need to stop. Oh, we can't advance any further. The ruins seem to be guarded by ancient seals. Seals? Is this the work of Dvalin? No. These ruins were once part of an ancient city. Dvalin just happens to be nesting in these ruins for now. These ruins even predate the existence of the Four Winds. Mondstadt is a city without a ruler. However, before it was, it was ruled over by a tyrant. Anyway, I'll sing you that story when we have a chance in the future. Yeah, no thank you. The markings on this seal my archaeological knowledge is not mistaken, this appears to be a light act. Light actuator? Uh-huh, sure. If we retrieve and reintegrate all the parts, we should be able to get it working. We should be close to completing the ceremony for this actuator. Let's put the last part back and see. Last part back? How? Quest completed. Light guiding ceremony, investigate the seal. Investigate the seal. This thing? Ah! Uh, okay then. What does that do? Whoa! Uh, okay. Sure. That did something. Talk to Venti. I guess that's how that works. Thanks, tutorial. Looks like we're right. There are three more halos circling the tower. Which means, there are three more corresponding light actuators to activate. I can see one from here. 
Way over there. Got it. The rest must be scattered within the ruins around here. Let's go find them. Why did Devalin pick a place filled with puzzles and seals as his lair? Doesn't he get annoyed coming back home? He can just fly through. <laughs> he doesn't walk in. He flies in. <sighs> you do have a point. Okay. Need to go find three more of those. But first, we open this chest. Now I got stomach cramps. There's one way. Where is it? Over there? Aha! How high can we go? Up here? Anything up here? Is that a chest? I see a chest! Hello! Luxurious chest, that's a lot of loot! Okay. Now we need to... Where is it? Where is it? Need to glide all the way down here. There it is. It's way over there. Need to go find the light actuators. That's one. The second one should be right here. Then the third one should be over here. Does each actuator only need one or three? I think it needs only one. Oh, it needs three. Got it. There we go. One barrier down. There's something underneath. Wow, this light actuating ceremony does work magic. It looks like one of the three halos above has now become solid ground. Uh, Let's start looking for the next puzzle. The next puzzle is way over here. Gotta restore our stamina first. Way over there. We need to glide. There we go. Got our respawn. Hello there, big boys. You're guarding this. Hi, hello. Can we please have this thingy? Ah, fuck. Okay, there we go. One for you. Hold up, there's someone still up there. Oh, hi. Anyone still alive? You're still alive. Can you please get down here? We can't attack you from down here. Hello, hi. Wait, what? We wanted to attack you. Hi, hello. Take our spear. Activate this. And thanks for the chest. Now, we need to go get more of these. Are there more? There's one over there and one over there. Let's go up here first. No secrets. Okay. And then we just smash down here. Excuse us, little slime. We're just gonna make our way through. Bye. The last one is inside there, which means we need to climb. Hold up. Gotta restore stamina. Slowly making our way up. There we go. Now we just drop down. And then, grab this. How do we activate it? Where do we bring it? Where's the thingy? Where is the light actuator? Hello, light actuator. Aha, there it is. Now we just slot these in, and then we move on to the next one. One puzzle left. It seems two of the halos have become Race solid you. ground. One more and the seals at the top of the tower will be broken. 
One more, and the thing is way over there. What the fuck? We're being pushed by the wind. We were being pushed. Why are we slowing down? I think we are being pushed. Actual weather mechanics? Okay. What do we have over here? We got lights over there. We got a teleport over there. Easy enough. Oh my god, wait. That's what was pushing us. A tornado. And it's pulling us in! <laughs> Gotta avoid that unless we want to die. Which we do not. Oh my god. Another one of you assholes. Hi there. Can you stop summoning those thorns in our face? There we go. One more should do it. And we place this over here. And that should be it. Ooh. Is that a dungeon? Do we go inside a dungeon now? I think we do. It's done! Paimon thinks we should venture onward from here. We should. But hold up. There we go. Okay. Now we teleport. Ah! Calm before the storm. Confront storm terror. Uh-oh. I'm thinking about turning these adventures into songs after we're done. Well, we certainly have gone through quite a lot recently. Hopefully, this song will be sung for years to come by the people of Mondstadt, just like the legend of Vanessa. Uh, who is Vanessa? I have loved that song since I was small. Can someone explain? How are you feeling today, honorary knight? Kind of peachy. We sort of have a stomach ache. I am completely prepared and fully confident that we can do this. Master Jean is so reliable. Rest assured, I'm completely prepared. Pyman, you simp! Despite only being an accidentally involved bystander! You shared your secret with me, and I only returned your trust to the same extent. So, quote-unquote trust is what drove Master Diluc here, or is it responsibility? What about Venti? As for Master Diluc, trust perhaps. What about the tone-deaf bard? It's freedom. Freedom? Freedom? When you first arrived at Mondstadt, did no one tell you that Mondstadt is the city of freedom? That was the first thing Amber told us. <laughs> she really is a child of freedom. Mondstadt is a romantic city without the reign of a king. But we do have a church, right? And its citizens enjoy the most freedom amongst the seven nations. I hope the dragon that once protected Mondstadt will soon be free too. No one should have deceived him by telling him that Mondstadt betrayed him. And no one should have told him that it was his eternal duty to protect the city. He has the right and freedom to choose his own way of life. Well, yeah, but what if he chooses, you know, to stay evil and destroy Mondstadt? What are we going to do then? Venti? Well then, Traveler, may the thousands of years of wind that have blown through Mondstadt go with you. Just like the last time, I shall channel animal energy for you. We knew it! It was your voice we heard! Oh! Well, looks like we have a dungeon, friendos. We're gonna go face Storm Terror. Storming Terror, after a long and daring pursuit of the Valen, who has been led astray by the Abyssal Mages, you are about to finally confront him once and for all. Let's go. Look. Oh my god, we're flying again. Shiny spots. They appear to be poisonous blood clots that have coagulated on his wounds. We're doing another flying the boss battle? Must have cursed the wounds. That's what's corrupting Devolin's mind. Okay then. To save Devolin, we're going to have to get rid of those blood clots. So basically, evil tumors. Got it. Ah! Ah! 
Stop flying around, asshole. We just gotta get these pimples off of you. Just gotta pop them with our laser gun. Is that how people pop pimples back in the fantasy age? With lasers? Oh my god. Just hold on a bit longer. Can we dodge? Can we avoid those? Excuse us, there's falling stars everywhere! What the fuck? Ah! Can we even shoot any of those? They're kind of scary. Stop, stop, stop. We're avoiding all of those. We're just flying on through. Whoa! Whoa! Too close. I don't think we could even attack them! Hold up, hold up. I'll extract and condense the pure animal from the shot fire. Oh, I see. I think I get it. So we need to shoot them and then accelerate. Got it. We gotta accelerate towards the Valen. Ow, we got hit. Ow, we got hit again. There's only one of them that we can destroy and then turn into a speed boost. Here we go! The Valen, come back! We gotta shoot those pimples off of you! Just let us exfoliate your skin! Okay, we're nearing him. Just gotta get a bit closer. A bit closer. Avoiding all of those stars! Here we go, time to pop your pimple! Take this! Almost! Almost! Ah! Ah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's angry. The Valen wait! Ah, shit. You have to go chase after him again. Wait, buddy! Your skin has to be cleared! Whoa. Can we shoot any of these? No? Nothing? There has to be something we could shoot, right? We gotta survive this phase. Nothing to shoot yet. Hello? Can we turn any of these into speed boosts? Nothing yet. Ah! Whoa there! Aha! Found ya! Time to boost on through. We zooming! Devall and wait, come back! Another one over there. Just gotta go through. Ah! Ah! Dodging it! Dodging all of those! Whoa! Ow! Speed boost again. We're so close! We can take him down. How high up are we? We're pretty high up. If we fall and lose a blessing, we'll probably die. We'll most likely die. I don't wanna die. We're close! We're very close! Ah! Ah! Last one! Avoid those! Zoom! Hi, Devalin! You gotta pop your pimple! Sorry about this, bud! Hang on! Just one more! Uh-oh! What's with the scene change? You have one more pimple! Let us pop it! What the fuck is that? Don't tell me we're going into the void. Wait, how'd you guys get here? That seems scary. Are we just gonna dive in? I don't wanna dive in. Oh my god. Well, we got attacked. Anyone got a plan? There's kind of a tornado right in front of us. Ah, there he is! Hi, Devalin! Let's fight! Defeat now Devalin? Like Devalin We're using grounds. Venti! <laughs> what? The grandest bard is here to help. We're using Venti? But first, ah, shit! Ah, my god! Of years use, we can't rotate our camera. We can only dangerous. aim. Yeah, we're going into aim mode. Fuck it. Oh, my god! Hi, Devalin! Excuse us! Stop spewing whatever laser you have into the ground! Aim for the tainted blood aiming for it, I'm aiming for it! You have a shotgun. 
I mean, shotgun bow and arrow. Triple arrow? I keep calling it a shotgun, but I know it's made out of bow and the string. Storm Terror Dvalin, first wild king of the skies. Not while we're at it, we're gonna take you down and pop your pimple! Dvalin, wait! No lasers! No lasers! Ah, what are you doing now? Oh my god, you're charging up. English, please! Exactly, right? Hold up, hold up! Where are you going? You're swooping down? Oh my god, you're swooping down! Where are you? Stay away from the breaking platforms. Whoa! -ho -ho, my god. We're shooting the thingy! There we go. We're fucking aiming for it. What do you think? Can we use an ultimate or a super? Venti, I thought you were overpowered. But then again, I don't think you can push a dragon off a cliff. No! Ah! Did we do it? Did we do it? No, the Valen! And I didn't realize we were red in life. Uh, we're gonna die. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die! We're totally dead. Unless, of course, huh? We're safe! We got saved! We purified the big dragon boy, now he's a pupper. Devalin is baby. It's been a while since we flew like this together. How, huh, Devalin? Just now. Why? Why did you not ask me to protect you like the last time? Me not wanting you to listen to the Abyss Order doesn't mean that you have to listen to me. So you just decided that we should die? Freedom, Hello? If you by an Archon, there's really no freedom at all. What is that? Is this the power of the animal Archon? He gave you but his blessing. No Again. Part of the four winds. Even if that's so, you still protected us regardless. Now spread your wings of freedom and go with my blessing. What a happy ending. Pog, you got the Valen back and he's protecting the city. And so the storm terror threat was quelled. I clarified the misunderstanding to the citizens of Mondstadt and let them know that they are safe. To them, it seems storm terror attacked Mondstadt out of nowhere and then vanished. Look at him vibing. They must be finding the whole ordeal very confusing. However, winds change their course. Someday, they will blow towards a brighter future. Hey, that was great! For prologue chapter of a free-to-play game, that was pretty good! Challenge completed. Nani, the story continues. Ah, back. shit, it's Amber. <laughs> the honorary knight returns triumphant. Yep, we're back from tussling with Devalin. You just returned yesterday, right? Jean got back first, and she told us all about your heroic deeds. <sighs> I wonder if I'll ever get an opportunity like that. It's all thanks to your referral. Trust us, it's not an opportunity you want. It's all thanks to your referral. That doesn't come into it. You guys deserve all the credit for how you resolved this crisis. When I brought you into the city that day, I was just doing my duty as an outrider. You're welcome. But have you been waiting for us here this whole time? <laughs> and the chef girl is just in the background vibing? Of course not. Just because I'm not out on the front line doesn't mean I don't have work to do. In fact, I'm dealing with the aftermath of the crisis as we speak. The aftermath? Why are there barriers? Aftermath? Here? What happened in Mondstadt? While Master Jean was away, the monsters lurking nearby made a coordinated attack on the city. Wait, what? They're smart enough to do that? Fortunately, we weren't completely taken by surprise. I detected the hilly churls were moving closer to the city a while back. Oh, yeah! Paimon remembers. When we first met, you were clearing out one of their camps. 
Exactly. And if we hadn't started making preparations back then, Mondstadt would be in much greater danger by now. But why would the Hilly Turtles do this? Aren't they, like, goblin-level intelligence? I know. It's strange. Hilly Turtles aren't usually capable of coordinating like this. Maybe they want human women, Monka W. Our best guess is that the Abyss Order is behind it. They've taken over the Hilly Churls! Hmm. Good thing we saved Devalin or they might have taken him too. That's right. And since I'm the Outrider, it's up to me to keep eyes on the Abyss Order from now on. Ugh, I'm sorry. You should be celebrating your victory, not listening to all this somber talk. Hmm. True! I promised to take you out for some sticky honey roast, didn't I? Before More sticky honey roast! The storm terror crisis. Is Sticky Honey Rose the only reward this city knows how to give? Really? What the fuck? There's no time like the present, right? You guys hungry? We would have expected a bigger reward to taking down the big dragon, but we're still getting Honey Roast. You bet! You may have forgotten till just now, but it's been on Paimon's mind this whole time! Adventurers need proper compensation, you know. Awesome! Let's go! It's been way too long since I last ate a Sticky Honey Roast myself. How many times have we said Sticky Honey Roast this entire game? Wait for me, a good hunter. I'll be right there. I just have to clean up here real quick. Okay then. When the winds die down, chat to the locals. Cyrus. Ah! We got a bow! The Favonius War Bow. Okay then. Hold up, hold up. We need to go and take our prize. We saved the city, we need to go get some Sticky Honey Roast. Because that's the only thing this city knows how to reward us with. Cyrus. Who is Cyrus? I guess we need to say hi to him. Hello there, Modstad! Huh? Hi, hello. Adventurer's Guild Branchmaster. Here we go. This is it. Crisis. Danger. The thrill of adventure. Adventurer's Guild! Finally, our days of rescuing kittens and finding lost puppies are over! The age of adventure is upon us! Roll up, youngsters! Join the Adventurer's Guild today! In this time of great upheaval, we must rally together, take on the dragon, and save our great city of Mondstadt! Yeah, about that. We kind of already are in the guild, and we kind of already taken down the dragon. What? What? This storm terror threat is resolved? <laughs> I missed the acting clan master's speech? <sighs> ah, storm terror should have put up more of a fight. We didn't get to join in. I doubt you could have joined in if you couldn't fly. But anyway, chat to the locals. Need to chat? What do the locals think of our victory? Long live the heroes. <sighs> Thank you. It's finally over. Many trade routes have closed due to the storm terror incident. We can cope for now without fresh fruit and vegetables. <sighs> but if the wine supply dries up, we're all doomed. <sighs> I cannot imagine a world without wine. I feel like fantasy worlds overvalue wine. Where's the whiskey? Where's the JD? <sighs> I hope they get the trade routes back up and running soon. Well, okay, we're just talking with the locals. Grace? Oh, hi, Grace. Ooh, a nun. So Storm Terror's true identity is Devalin, one of the Four Winds. We never should have forgotten his past sacrifice for Mondstadt. Every cloud has a silver lining. We're fortunate that our relationship with the Dragon of the East didn't sour past the point of no return. For that, we have you to thank. And Jean for her unfailing devotion. As long as we have the Knights of Favonius, peace and freedom will prevail in Mondstadt. Yep, the Knights are doing their job. There will definitely be something that can... Greetings! May I take your order? Why so cold? I've always thought that we enjoy quite the intimate friendship. Oh hey, we didn't see you there! The handsome Mr. Kaya! What are you doing here? We were supposed to meet Amber. Ah, so you do feel something for me. And people say my charm is fake. I think that choice was a mistake. To bask in the presence of Mondstadt's new big hero is quite the morale boost. And that's coming from a knight. Sweet-talking, sugar-coated Captain Kaya. 
Paimon, no. <laughs> Nonsense. I speak from the heart. So, what are you doing here? Just looking for a quiet spot to collect my thoughts. While all the other knights are working hard to clean up after the battle? Thinking can be an arduous task, you know. Believe me, I'd much rather be taking out the trash. So what you thinking about then? The Abyss Order. Yeah, they were the ones that made the Valen go crazy, right? A dragon wreaks havoc in Mondstadt, and the acting Grand Master leaves the city to combat the threat. Strategically, that's the perfect moment for the Abyss Order to make their move. That's why the Hilly Churls are attacking, right? If you were the Abyss Order, would you squander this golden opportunity by sending in nothing more than a few Hilly Churls? There's gotta be more to this story, though. To get to the bottom of it, I decided to wait. So I waited. And watched for their next move. Then came the day you made all hell break loose in Storm Terror's lair. Just as the Hilly Churl's cries sounded from the city gates. That same day, I saw shadowy figures lurking in the city itself. Inside the city? Wait, they're inside? Well, all the other knights were outside, fighting the enemy. As you can imagine, that left the inside of the city completely unguarded. Ah, yeah, I remember now. They took the liar. Except for me, of course. And so I approached the Abyss Order infiltrators for a bit of... Mm, let's call it fraternizing. Through various means, I managed to gather some rather interesting intel. The situation is this. The Abyss Order. They are united under a single leader. Let me guess, our evil twin brother. The Abyss Order has a leader? Yes. And it was this very leader who devised the plot to turn Dvalin into a weapon of war. Uh, is Sarah the barmaid just gonna be listening to our whole conversation right here? What exactly did you have to do to find this out? <laughs> Let's just say I'm blessed with certain linguistic powers. He means torture. Lots and lots of torture. Uh, there's more. The Abyss Order has a name for this leader. They call her the Princess. Yeah, you kind of mixed up the voice lines there, game. Now, I'm sorry to cut this intelligence briefing short, but I do believe I spy Amber heading this way. I think she's still angry with me for my absence from the defense effort during the attack. I'd better slip away before she notices me. And there he goes. First he didn't help us fight the Valen, and now he's afraid of Amber. One minute I see Kaya, the next he slipped away. Clear sign of a guilty conscience. Yeah, what a scoundrel. Hmm, I agree. He sets a terrible example for someone who's cavalry captain. He is your boss. Uh, but let's forget about him. I worked super hard today, and my tummy's rumbling. Let's order. Yeah, some more sticky honey roast. Hooray, sure. Hi, Sarah. One sticky honey roast, please. God damn it. When the wind dies down, take a seat by Amber. Okie dokie, we got our food. And let's sit over here. So, now the storm terror threat is behind us. What are your plans for the next step? Well... Paimon thinks it's time to leave Mondstadt and keep looking through the Seven Nations until we find clues about our brother. Who is, coincidentally, the evil mastermind behind all of this, but then again, there's that evil person we saw at the beginning of the game. Where is she? What is she? Who is she? Why? Huh, really? Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye for now. We're gonna miss Modstat. We're gonna miss our Favonian family. Hey, don't feel down. You'll always be a friend of the Knights of Avonius and our honorary knight. Wherever you may go and wherever the wind may blow. Let the wind lead. We'll come back and visit. That's the spirit. Remember, Mondstadt will always welcome you. All right, now let's eat before it gets cold. Our sicky honey roast! You enjoyed a relaxing mealtime. Mmm, that was good. Note to Paimon, Amber's recommendations are worth the wait. Of course. Well, I don't trust myself in the kitchen. You can always trust me with the menu. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Ah? Jean's waiting for you at the cathedral. It's something to do with the Holy Lyre de Himmel. You'd better head there now. Really? It's been really? Ending note. 
Hold up, why does Jean want to see us? Something about the Holy Liar. Need to go all the way up to the cathedral. What does Jean want us to do? She has the liar? She knows Venti's Barbados. Wait, is Venti gonna live in the church? Well, that gets him off our back. Hold up, isn't he flying around with a dragon? What's going on, Jean? Hello, Jean. Wait a minute. Isn't that Barbara? What the fuck? Hold up. Why are there two of us? This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here to retrieve the holy liar de Hamel. Oh, backstory. May the animal archon protect you. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting grandmaster, but I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Okay, friendos, I claim thee as waifu. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious they can be. Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Liar with you? Yes, we did. We cannot ask you to keep defending the Liar forever. The Seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. We, uh, did bring it with us. Um, it's just, it's a little... Paimon broke it. Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. Uh, Welp! Uh, the Holy Liar! Oh, Barbados! Even if I atone for these sins for the rest of my life, it would still not be enough! Uh, oh, give it here. Why didn't you do that in the first place before we even gave it to her? Is it so you could flex to the cute girl? Oh, the holy liar, but how? It's so he could flex to the cute girl. What, what no, no. I don't know how you managed to fix it, but you'll never touch the liar again. And there she goes. We uh, really should get going. That trick I used to repair the holy liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. What? It's an illusion. <laughs> Venti, get back here! Hold up, wait a minute, what the fuck? No, holy shit! I thought we were over! Uh, we just saved Venti? Oh no, I know those feet! Oh fuck. Well! Wait a minute. At last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. Who are you? Oh shit, it's La Senora. Streets looking for leftovers. Mondstadt calls this a god. Resident rodent beats invasive vermin. Oh, okay. Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Mommy. Uh oh. Impotent you've become. That smirky wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? Yeah, you tell her, Venti. Uh oh. She oh. Oh no. Oh. Wait, what? So, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. A what? Beauty is a waste. When the beholder has no taste. Okay, shut up, you sassy little boy. You're kind of hurt right now. Hey, don't kick him when he's down, even though we want you to. Well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. Holy shit. After much time has passed... Is Venti dead? Uh, honorary Knight, you're awake! 
Hello, waifu! Are we being nursed back to health? Venti, is he alright? Um, I wouldn't say he's alright, exactly. I found you lying unconscious outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. Ah, fuck, is this power's gone? This is the first time I've encountered such a patient. But he just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. He left? Already? Where did he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. What? I wanted to stop him, but Jean, uh, I, I mean, Master Jean, said to let him leave. How strange. I think Jean understands. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the Animal Archon. The so we need to go see him? Wait a minute! Venti's at Windrise? Hold up! Venti! Venti, my boy! Are you moping? Venti! Barbara's come to heal you. Do you need some healing, Venti? We got some healing. We could do this right now. We could do it, Venti. Uh, he's kind of depressed. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. <laughs> I said the exact same thing last time. <sighs> Why do I only say these things when I'm down on my luck? So, what is a gnosis? Ah, uh, so you noticed. <sighs> this isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But I suppose I can let you in on the secret. Do we look ordinary to you? As you know, visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, Every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people Allogenes. Aha! Uh -huh. Allogenes? Paimon's never heard of them before. <laughs> That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like visions. Instead, each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself. Known as a Gnosis. So you got your belly piercing stolen from you, got it. <laughs> it's just a glowing glass ball I carry around to avoid suspicion. I feel cheated, but I guess I'm used to that by now. So who was that nasty woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your Gnosis? Her name is Signora, number eight of the Harbingers. Yeah, we've heard about her before. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snejnaya, and with it, strength surpassing that of other mortals. How? Why? The Tsaritsa of Snejnaya? Indeed. She is one of the seven. The Tsaritsa who reigns from her winter palace, and the one person that the Fatui Harbingers all answer to. The Seven don't always get along well, but still. I never thought that she would plot to steal another Archon's Gnosis. Yeah, what kind of god is she? Uh, how should I put this? 500 years ago, I knew her well. But I can't say the same is true now. You see, a certain catastrophe happened 500 years ago. And after that, she cut off all ties with me. Did you try to flirt with her, you little shit? But we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another day. If you seek the rest of the Seven, many difficulties lie ahead of you still. So yeah, we were right. They are people right now, and we have to go look for them. The rest of the gods, I mean. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liyue. The Geo Archon who reigns there, unlike me, administrates his entire region personally. Oh! He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions. Which set the direction for Liu for the rest of that year. Even so, it sounds like he works much harder than a certain someone, hmm? Mm-hmm, like a certain god that's not a god anymore? <laughs> <laughs> In any case, this year's rite of dissension is soon to begin. If you miss it, you'll just have to wait another year. What? Oh, why didn't you tell us before? <sighs> well, then bye! We're going! One moment, Windborn Outlander. Uh, you mean us. 
Yep. Traveler, as you set off on your journey once again, you must remember that the journey itself has meaning. The birds of Tevat, the songs in the cities, the Tsaritsa, her Fatui and the monsters, they are all part of your journey. They're the friends we made along the way. Wait a minute, no, they're enemies. The destination is not everything. So before you reach the end, keep your eyes open. Use the chance to take in the world around you. Venti, you dumbass. We get it. Great. So that's that for the Animo Archon's admonishments. Back to Venti time. That's the end of your storyline. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a well then. Best no, we time. don't want to chat. There's nothing else. Fuck off, dude. Prologue Act 3 complete. Song of the Dragon and Freedom. And there we go, friendos. We saved Modstad, got the Valen back, and well, Venti. Venti got the shit kicked out of him and lost his godhood. And now we have to head over to Liyue Harbor to go find the Geo God. If you friendos enjoyed this episode of Genshin Impact, leave your comments down below, like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to always stay up to date with our videos. Until our next episode, my name is Nez and thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye friendos!